Falmouth is famous for being a vibrant port town with a busy tourist industry. However, 3.4% of the population claim job seekers allowance. This is higher than the Cornish average. Food bank usage is on the rise. There have been over a thousand recipients in the first five months of this year. With this in mind, can industries such as yacht production be morally justified? Do food banks really offer the solution? In one day, a group of Tremay students investigated. Do food banks and super yachts offer solutions to Falmouth's inequality? What sorts of background slash problems lead people to your door? It's just such a range of people come here. Lots of people have issues. Um, there have been lots of benefit changes, so people have got benefit delays, sickness, low wages, high rents. The usage seems to have increased looking at the same period of time last year to this year. The Trussell Trust guidance is that we are not we are here to lift people out of crisis and that is very much our ethos here and the guidelines are we give three food parcels in a six month period. Although we are a success, we're not the wrong word to use. We want to try and help them and signpost them on to other things that can support them as well. Necessary good but it's sad that it's necessary at all. Um, I think it's a really good idea because there's, uh, there's certainly a lot of food that gets wasted. Um, people throw it away in supermarkets. And I've a food bank for people who are on the wrong side of the line. That's really, really bad. And any government in charge should be shocked. If you have a stigma about it, then why not pour some of your stigmatic money into the food? If you needed that. Wonderful, I guess. I'd be glad that they were there. I guess it, it must be you know, quite a knock to itself. It provides people to live while solving the problem. I think if it wasn't that the situation would be a lot worse. We also went to interview AMP, a large marine services company based in Falmouth, and asked them various questions about the impact they have on the local economy. What's the future we don't dredge? Um, nothing will change immediately. The, uh, we'll, we'll survive, but there's a tipping point in about 2020 when ships are just getting bigger and bigger. Probably the grey ships we have in here at the moment will not be allowed to come into the port. But we've got gradual siltation, there'll be a tipping point, and suddenly we'll go from being viable to unviable. How will it affect the local economy? Well, it says in the plan, fairly clearly, that the plan comes down to two options. Do nothing, which is the, the best effect for the environment, but you lose 1,500 jobs over 20 years certainly up nearly a thousand within 10 years. If you do the plan, the whole of Cornwall, to be honest, you will create over a thousand jobs in 10 years. So it's a, it's a simple choice of that. Cruise ships is a, the best example and why the county's interested in it. Five years ago, we used to do 65,000 cruise passengers coming through Falmouth, call for a day and disappear. There were 23,000 at the moment. If we got the dredge in within five years, we'd be between 100 and 150,000 passengers going through Falmouth. They spend £100 a head in the local economy. So that's £15 million pounds a year into the local economy. So we would like to see the uh, channel dredged yeah. because we are cruise ship ambassadors. We get a lot of revenue from the cruise ships. Um, people come into town, and it's not just Falmouth that gains from the cruise ships. The, the argument against it is apparently we are only going to lose 2% of the merle, which is a sort of seaweed, um, if they dredge. And, and I, I think, I, I sympathise with the conservationists, but I think 2% is quite minimal. Because if we, all of this out here is all oyster beds. We all work out there, all the toxins from the docks. Looking into the divide between food banks and fancy yachts, it's clear the waters of Falmouth's future are murky. As social tensions rise, can food banks or yachting job opportunities really provide a solution?